Okay, so as promised, we are going to be making hooks. But not this type of hook. Instead, we're going to be making the good old reliable bench hook. For this project, I'm going to be using some pine stud left over from when I made my workbench. Uh, if you've been watching any of my videos, you might have seen me use this uh, already for making my uh, cheap homemade bench dogs. As seen here previously. So, basically, you don't have to use pine for this. Um, probably a better material, realistically, is a hardwood, uh, maybe an oak or, or maybe a cherry, whatever you want to use, really. Um, any hardwood. But um, I've found that the pine has worked just as well. I've already made one here, so we're going to make a second one, because I'm going to make a, two, uh, a pair for now. But uh, I find it's working just fine for me. Um, plus, it's uh, like I say, some scraps I've got. So mine is starting off as a one and a half inch thick piece of pine, and I'm making mine just over a foot in length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure in 75 millimeters on one side, and then do the same, the opposite end on the other side. We also want to mark it down on both sides of where you've marked it as well. Okay, so what you want to do is measure down, you can either do this roughly or you can do it exact. Measure down halfway, halfway down the side you're going to cut into. And you can get something long and straight and line that centre line up with the opposite top edge. like so. So you've got the line going all the way to the top edge from the centre there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the line for the opposite side here that we'll be cutting and then we're going to follow that one down to the opposite corner down here. However, the other way to do it would be to get the one you've already made and line it up and then trace it out. Once you have both sides marked out, you want to establish your cut at the both ends to make the hook. And to do this, I'm going to use my bench dogs. Okay, now we've established our cut for the hook, we need to tack out the rest of this bulk here. So I've already pre-cut the opposite side, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a series of cross cuts ready to be chiseled down. Okay, so now to remove this bulk, we're going to be using a chisel. Now what you want to do is remember to use the chisel bevel down. That will allow you to have better control when taking this bulk out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to round off this corner. The reason being is because when we're sawing or hammering or whatever this is going to, this edge here is going to take a lot of strain and being pine and soft wood it's, it's going to be even more prone to splintering uh, or splitting rather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dividers just to create a curve and a score, just a little score there and because this is a soft wood all I'm going to do it, it, instead of using a paring chisel to take it down or anything like that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a chisel straight down take the corner off just to get it going and then I'm going to sand it off so there we have it, our bench hooks we can use them for small pieces of wood, we can use them for large pieces of wood really useful really really useful tool so I hope you enjoyed that little project and please feel free to subscribe to my channel and please to tune in again next time till then goodbye